Smackdown in 2020 has been beautiful so far and Monday Night Raw look like it's trying to catch back up. But I wanted to talk about one of the feuds on this show because I can't express enough the greatness of this feud. And if you read the title of the video, that feud is Bayley versus Sasha. This storyline has single-handedly made it impossible for Raw to even compete with SmackDown because there's just so much stuff on SmackDown that Raw just can't compete with in the first place. I wanted to talk about how great this feud is and why it might go down as one of the best women's wrestling feud ever. And right before we get into this, please like the video because it helps out with the YouTube algorithm and gets my video up there. We are grinding to 500 subscribers, so if you want to join the King Kingdom, come here <laughs> and suppress that subscribe button. Let's get into it. So sit back, relax, grab your snacks, and without further ado, play my intro. <laughs> I am the stone in the building of I am the visual the inspiration that make things First things first, I wanted to talk about the long term booking and the story. When Bailey and Sasha both united again, we assumed it wouldn't last long. But boy, boy, were we wrong. Instead, WWE, or at least the writers on SmackDown, saw a golden opportunity. If this was 2016, 2017, or even 2018 Raw, we would have seen Sasha our Bailey turned on each other way earlier. But instead, they SmackDown saw a golden opportunity and basically made them one of the top hills in the company. They also worked triple duty appearing on Raw and NXT and putting on some beautiful matches there also. Sasha and Bailey together were so good. And not only that, but they also threw hints at us while this was happening and made a story while doing it. They made Sasha lose most of her matches, and they made Bailey reluctant to help Sasha out. And to think about it now, Bailey was always reluctant, reluctant when her title came into picture. So it's no surprise she chose the championship over her best friend. They gave Sasha everything and took it away, which made us feel sorry for Sasha, which was brilliant and which complemented into a beautiful turn by Bailey, Which brings me to my next subject. It was after the match that Sasha lost and it seemed like her knee was out of place and needed attention. Bailey helped her up and told the medical staff to get away. And then Bailey would ruthlessly attack Sasha and even go as far as trying to end her career with a chair, putting the chair on her neck and stomping on it. This was such a beautiful turn in my opinion because not only did you guys have to do the, did you guys do the turn in the first place, but you made Sasha look like a huge, huge baby face and turned Bailey into a huge heel. What was it, like five months? Five months of building this. Not even, it was probably way longer than that, but a long time of building this and you finally turn on each other and not only did Sasha just come back the night after and say I want my revenge no she came back with a neck brace that is how bad Bailey attacked her best friend Sasha Banks Bailey would then cut a promo saying I was using Sasha to get wherever I wanted and I only backstabbed you because I knew you were going to try and backstab me. That, ladies and gentlemen, 
is what you call a beautiful promo because not only does it specify what Bailey was thinking, but it tells us that Bailey is so addicted to her championship, so addicted to winning and keeping and being on the top of the food chain that she thought her best friend, best friend throughout NXT, throughout uh, at everything, through the main roster, Sasha even introduced Bailey to WWE, making her tag team partner at Battlegrounds. And she attacked her. And she thought Sasha was coming for her title. Tell me, you can't sit up here and tell me that is not a great story that WWE has made. And the chemistry also, the chemistry between Bailey and Sasha is making something beautiful too. Because it seems like they actually hate each other now. And when they were partners, it seemed like they were actual douchebags. And it seemed like it clicked. It clicked for everything. Bailey with the annoying talking to Michael Cole, you know, uh, Sasha having fun on, on the ringside while Bailey does the work inside. It was just a beautiful combo of two women in the women's division. And what a time to become these two women during a pandemic. Because not only did you get some title runs, but you got a tag team title run together. Also, Sasha would cut a beautiful promo when she returned after that Bailey promo and cut on the most emotional promos saying Bailey can't live without her. And she said this with tears in her eyes, by the way, saying we walk through these halls together, setting records and starting a whole revolution. Sasha and Bailey started a whole revolution together. And now it's possible they can fight on the main event of WrestleMania. Or just WrestleMania. She said, you wanted to take something important from me. I'm going to take something important from you. And that's the SmackDown Women's Championship. And that is when Bailey came from behind and smacked her with a chair. Not only is Bailey afraid that Sasha is an actual threat taking her championship away, but it seems like she is trying to take her best friend out of the WWE like she did Kari Sane and end her career. That is how afraid Bailey is of her WWE championship being taken away from her. She wants to decrease all the chances that her championship will be taken away. Even at Clash of Champions, uh, doing an open challenge and right after that she just says okay 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 the challenge is done not even 30 seconds it just shows how afraid she is and how brainwashed she is by the smackdown WWE championship and that is exactly how you do a feud between two stars that is exactly how you cut some emotional promos that is exactly how you put two stars and make them superstars Sasha Banks in the first time in two years is probably headed for a huge face championship run. And I can only imagine the chair she would get in front of a crowd attacking Bayley with the chair or winning the championship at WrestleMania. Bayley has also had a huge hill run and has been one for the ages. If we are lucky enough, we can get this match at WrestleMania with a crowd, but... Sadly, I doubt that. Sasha and Bailey both accomplished a lot of stuff during this feud, and I thought it was just something to talk and rant about. The brilliance of Sasha versus Bailey. My name is I Kings, guys. If you like these videos, subscribe, like, and go to my other channel because I have What If Sasha Joined AEW? And I have all hints leading to Alexa Bliss being at the next sister abigail i have that also anyway my name is i kings guys and thanks for watching they're always acting the same screaming we're older these niggas is pain i am the hero man i got them by chain show some on the ass like i'm the new king passing these missions like life is all easy to scream into the mic like my name is